so we're going to be looking for some video games today. See if we can find any good deals. So what we can get into. Some headphones. Some fiber ones. So you can take your dumps anytime you need to. What the heck? That penguin looks like he's been through some shit. Oh, here we go. Some games. SpongeBob. Now that's a classic. Here's the four. Limited collector's edition. I don't know how much these are. About to ask and see. <laughs> how much are your games? Well, which one are you looking at, my friend? How much on SpongeBob? Uh, SpongeBob. <laughs> <clears throat> Five bucks. Hmm. Eh. Five bucks for a SpongeBob. Over here they got the meds. There's another one. The real SpongeBob. Lots of movies over here. Everybody's getting rid of their DVDs because everything's going to digital now. What the hell are they selling over there? Look like they selling bags of weed. I was about to run over there and get me one. Oh well. This one here, fifteen dollars. It comes with everything. We have, I have it here. That uh, it's just dust. It's brand new. This one is brand new. It's just dust. Yeah, it comes with this one, and they have another. I have another one. I have two of them. We come with the char uh, the, the things all complicated. I want an original Atari, but I'm still looking for one. I've only found like one in my whole life of searching, and it was like expensive. So I can get it. Oops. Still looking for one though. Oh snap! This table's got Pokemon cards. Shit just got real. Mystery packs, I guess. Got all of them in there. Don't really see any laid out though. We'll look at. <coughs> they got Japanese ones over there. Hmm. Looks like a dealer though. The way he's got it all set up. So I'm not even gonna attempt to ask him. Cause it'll be like 20 bucks for one card probably. And your left arm. Oh snap, there's Spongebob again. It's just everywhere today, I tell you what, everybody's getting rid of Spongebob. There we go. Looks like me when I first get up in the morning. And here's me when I'm ready to go out. Booker T, the five time. Five time, five time, five time, five time, five time. Five time. WCW champion. Oh shit. They got Shrek in a bag. He looked pissed. He's wanting out of there too. He's over there with his twin. There goes a dog. Hi, dog. It's a pretty dog. <laughs> Good deal on them uh, games right there. How much are they? Well, I'd make a deal on all of them. Would you be interested? Do you, do you need any of these controllers? Um. I'm talking about I'd make a deal on all this stuff if you want it. Let's see. Let's see what all that is here. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll save you all them games. All this right here. All this right here, and I don't know what this is. I'll take, uh, I'll let you have all of it for, uh, I'll take $30 for everything. I know I taxed it down for a good day. Let's see. They, there's some movies in here, too. Are they one? Yeah, yeah. See right there's a movie. Uh, not my, a game, I mean, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. But I'll take $30 for all of it. 
How much fun does this thing? Uh, well, it's a pretty good game. Well, it ain't got the right game in it. Oh, it ain't. Oh, okay. I don't know nothing about it because, like I said, it ain't in the master. <coughs> it might be in one of these other ones. It might be. Uh, not looking like it. Well, we sort of got a game. Mario Party 8 for the Wii. But it's missing the game. It's Tony Hawk Shred. So Mario would be shredding with Tony Hawk, I guess. Not even sure. It's probably like I do sometimes. I just leave games out of the boxes and they get switched around or either that or he was trying to rip somebody off. That's why you always look in the game's boxes before you buy them. Because people will do that on occasion. Uh oh. Chicken McNugget toy. It's like my dream. You got Mickey and Donald Duck and all of them. Here's the Xbox. Not sure how to look at it. Not really much of an Xbox collector. Hmm. Anybody need an omelet maker? I got a good one. I got recipes and everything with it right here. Good omelet maker. He's got omelets. <laughs> For all your omelet needs. Here's what I'm going to do. Omelet. You keep that, and I'm going to walk away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Might be something over here. They look like they got a bunch of stuff. Yep, they got Frozen, the game. Just what I always wanted. There's some games. More Xbox, of course. Mm, whatever this might be. Gears of War again. Everybody's getting rid of their Gears of War. Game Boy Advance SP power adapter. How much on that? Hmm. There's a GameCube controller over here. So and a GameStop one, but it looks kind of wore out too. The buttons are kind of sticky. For five bucks. Some more down here, apparently. Five dollars a piece. Well, that's not exactly too bad. If the titles are any good. Arkham City. They got some pretty decent titles here for five dollars a piece. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm mostly a Nintendo collector, so nothing specifically here I want. Yeah, I'd give a dollar for it. Well, would you go to? That's only one more dollar. That's one more dollar. You can't even buy a soda with a dollar. I'd go buy down here for a dollar. Well, all right. Then you, hey, see, he, he's undermining us. See, there you go. These people are hardcore, man. Oh, like somebody won't do something. They're wheeling and dealing over a dollar. Can't even buy a soda with a dollar. <laughs> hey, looks like there might be some games in here. Don't know. Let's see. The World 7. Call of Duty. Check this whole thing. Here's some PS2 controllers. How much are you getting on your controllers? Unless I drop them. Seven bucks. Two PS2 controllers. Not too bad. Uh, all kinds of toys up here. What all they got? The McDonald's race car. So you can race to McDonald's. More Xbox stuff. Over here, some PS2 as well. There's old school NES games. Turtles 2, 15 bucks. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Everybody's walking their dogs today. I should have brought my dog. But she's a chihuahua and she's really mean. 
so about everybody around here probably. <laughs> Movies and furry logic. Ten dollars for a toothbrush. Oh no. The Tilly Tubbies. And things scare me. And I'm getting away as fast as possible. Well, I guess I'm gonna be heading out to these over here. Zip on across because movies. Thought they might have been some games over here. Hmm. How much on your games? How much on your games? Ten for all of it. Ten for all of it. Got one Mario list for 38 on Amazon. <laughs> Just got a bundle of N64 stuff for 10 bucks, so not too bad. Mario 64, yeah, he's right, is worth about that itself. So the rest of it pretty much came free. Now we're gonna head into the indoor flea market where a lot of the dealers are. I've shown this place before, but it's been a while, so I figured I'd go in here and check out when things changed. Ooh, that's changed. There used to be a game store in here. Yep, looks like the game store's still here. Still in business. Still booming. Let's see how much they cost now. Oh, 50 bucks for a GameCube. And 50 for N64. Good lord. Let's see their N64 games over here. So there's Mario 64 right there. And it looks like they're trying to sell it for $40. And Donkey Kong for 30. Still the awkward of time for 35. Hey guys, it's Brandon here and we're back at the house. And it's been so long since I've done this and I've missed it so much. I'm so glad to be back. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on to what I found. First of all, as you guys saw, I got Mario Party 8. And it's uh, just a box actually. It's not Mario Party 8 at all. It's Tony Hawk's... Uh, shred in there for the Wii and the guy sold it to me for two dollars and even though it wasn't the right game uh the box i think it was probably worth that by itself and plus i think i actually have an extra copy of mario party 8 that doesn't have a box so that'll work perfectly next up i found these two ps2 controllers i got them for about 350 a piece because the guy wanted to sell them originally for five dollars a piece but I talked him down and I didn't actually have eight dollars on me I had seven so he let me have them for seven so it ended up being 350 a piece and in probably the best deal of the day I got this huge Ziploc baggie full of Nintendo 64 stuff and included in it we got Wave Racer 64 we got Mario 64 and we got NASCAR 2000. That's not all that came in the bag. Also came with this thing. It says Wii on it. I think it's supposed to be something for like Animal Crossing on the Wii. But I'm not exactly sure because I never played that game before. So if anybody knows in the comments section, let me know. I'd very much appreciate it. I found this on like one of the first tables that we saw. I'm not, I don't really want to put it on, but, but I will anyway, because I'm an idiot. I am now officially Luigi. This actually doesn't look that bad on me. Anyway you guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Glad to be back to doing this. This has been Brandon and I'll see you guys in the next vlog video. Take care guys. I want to thank my Patreons for their continued support of the channel. If you want to support the channel, then consider donating on Patreon. It helps keep this channel going. The link for that is in the description box below. If you don't have Patreon, but you still want to support the channel, you can donate by clicking on the super thanks button below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and set the notifications to all. If you want to see more awesome videos like this one, be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure and check out some of my other Pokemon videos. My most recent one was talking about creepy backwards Pokemon music. 
in which I talk about different Pokemon songs and play them backwards and see just how creepy they sound. I've also done a 50 things wrong list with every Pokemon generation and I've also done videos on other Nintendo games as well. So if any of that content interests you, be sure and go check it out. I'll have the link to the playlist at the end of the video.